we're going to look at the column method on how to subtract, take away or minus. Now you need to remember we always start on the right for all of these. That's the golden rule. Let's subtract. OK, so we start on the right nice and easy. 7 take 3 is 4. And 2 take nothing is 2. So we just bring that down, 24. OK, 45 take 6. So 6 from 5 we can't take because it's too big. So we knock on the neighbour, thank you. Reduce that to a 3, carry over the 1. So we get 15 minus 6, which is 9. 3 take nothing is 3, so the answer is 39. Right, let's subtract. 569 take 92. 9 minus 2 is 7. 6 minus 9, we can't do that, it's too big. So we borrow from the neighbour, make that 5 or 4, carry over the 1, which gives us 16. 16 take 9 gives us 7 and 4 take nothing just leaves us with 4 so our answer is 477 and let's try another one so we've got 324 minus 157 so 4 take 7 we can't do borrow from our neighbour make that a 1 and that's 14 take 7 gives us 7 now we've got a 1 left here we can't take 5 from 1 Borrow from the neighbour, make that a 2, bring that one over, so we have 11. 11 take 5 gives us 6, and then 2 take 1 gives us 1. Our answer, 167. OK, now we're going to do subtract with zeros. So we've got 300 minus 192. Now we can't take the 2 away from the 0, we can't borrow from the neighbour, so we need to go to the number, which is 3. Cancel that down to a 2, carry the 1, then we have to cancel that again to make that a 9, to carry the 1 over. So that gives us 10 minus 2, which is 8. 9 minus 9, 0, and then 2 minus 1 gives us 1, the answer 108. And when subtracting with zero, some people like to use the box method. So say we've got 400, you can't take from the first zero. You need to get the next zero and go along to find a figure. So here the figure, the number would be 40, and we take one off the whole 40, which would give us 39. Then we carry the one, so that gives us 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. And then 9 minus 3, obviously 6. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So that gives us 165.